in this recording, I'd like to talk a little bit, if you would like as well, <laughs> to talk a little bit about connecting with nature, being more in alignment with it. Yeah, last time we kind of talked that we connected with nature, but not how we did. Mm. So with regard to the how, what I'm experiencing in my reality is that as I go outside, as we go outside together, Mm -hmm. there's a sense of presence that can be gained by just, and this doesn't have to be in the mountains, it can be anywhere outside, you know, if you go up to a tree and you could just put your attention on the tree you get this sense, you get a, uh, a sense of connection that I sometimes call presence. Mm-hmm. And that presence can be felt when you're connecting with a tree or when you see a squirrel or when you look at some flowers in, you know, in a lawn somewhere. Uh, it can be felt in all moments, no matter where you are. I mean, pretty much anywhere you, you are in the world will have some aspect of nature to it, uh, even if you're in a big city. But um, I find that when we go on drives and go in nature on walks and things like that, there's, there's a connection that I think we can expand upon now. Mm-hmm. For me, it feels... Even before we moved to an area where there were many trees, we, I felt a connection with trees. Mm-hmm. And... It was interesting because I I would just feel this and it would help me in a lot of moments to just imagine the trees, their trunks, the roots, the foliage being happy. (laughs) The wind blowing through the foliage? Yes, that one. You can hear the leaves and somehow get a sense of the tree because of it. It was just always very peaceful for me and... So for me, going to an area where lots of trees or in bushes and whatever, well, lots of nature can just grow as it is without so much interference from people thinking it should be a certain way. Without interference from anything, really. Just as it is. Being allowed to be as it is. To grow. That, to me, it, it just happens. Like, it's just peaceful. It's just... It is how it is, and it is, and it's beautiful, and I don't know how else to describe that more clearly, I guess. It's okay. (laughs) When I I think I might be able to help, Uh, this happened to me, I'd I'd say, eight or nine months ago when when we lived at our previous location. We had a cat, and we let her outside, and um, connecting with nature also means connecting with animals. So what happened was, is when I let her outside, she went up the little steps there and decided to go and and explore, you know, sniffing around. And whenever I look at the cat, I just see a cat, you know, I don't really think much of it. But the the moment that struck me as very odd was when the cat turned around and looked right at me and not just at me, but in my eyes. And then suddenly I was looking at not a cat, but a consciousness unto itself it was a connection beyond what my rational mind would label as a cat and it was very surreal i realized i was looking at a very smart um innate being that was beyond my label cat and i connected with that and even though trees don't have eyes you can also get a sense of their presence even though you know flowers don't have eyes and the in the way we would consider eyes, you know, I, I feel like they can sense us as well, and there's a connection that is made. I feel like that ties into the earth in general. Like, we are not, man is not separate from nature. We are nature. We are a part of nature. It's all nature. And so that goes for the cat, too. Yes, and all living creatures. So it was like nature looking at nature, looking at itself. <laughs> and a sense of recognition of the uh, the aspect of itself of consciousness in itself yes and i think that's very very deep and i think it it is very profound and very settling and grounding and understanding to understand that you are a part of the earth and as the earth changes so will you yes absolutely and it, it honestly, it helps me even when I'm not immediately around a tree. I can just 
imagine that. Imagine the dirt, the ground, the tree, the snow in some cases. Mm-hmm. I can see that. I can feel that. And it to me, it's settling in that way because I know that whatever happens, it's okay. There's always, the earth is always fine. And the way to really feel that, I mean, not just that we feel it, that's that's great. And I think we keep circling back around on this, but let me just hit it right away, Mm -hmm. which is the way to do that is you must begin to limit your distractions out of your life and fully intend to connect with nature. You have to go for that walk and not be checking your cell phone every five seconds. You have to go for that walk uh, or that drive and then sit in nature and feel it without any distraction and try to leave the thoughts aside and just really tune in, you know, listen to that river in the distance, Mm. focus on the wind blowing through the trees, focus on your breath being the same wind that blows through those trees. You know, these little things here and there that the rational mind will easily dismiss for another distraction, another email, another text, another phone call. Uh, another, another picture. Another <laughs> picture. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. But you really can set those aside. Uh, validate them. You know, they're valid thoughts. You're not pushing them away, per se. You can validate them and say, okay, those all have their time and place. But right now, I can choose to be here. Mm, that's powerful. And that that's your biggest intention for connecting with nature. And I think that helps a lot. And that would be like practice and then it will become second nature. Yes. It will, and then it'll be just nature. It'll be nature, <laughs> nature in nature. <laughs> yes, nature observing nature. And I really do feel like that level of connecting can become your default to the point where you might be in a city and realize everyone else around you is somewhat disconnected, and that begins to feel like unnatural. Mm, mm, can we talk about that in a different, a different? Absolutely, thing. yeah. Because I feel like there's that. a lot. There's a lot to say there, but we could play with that in a different one. Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>